you guys it's Sonia so this is an early morning video so yeah bear with me um, I just wanted to hop on real quick to talk about the importance of using guess what conditioner in your locks or on your locks when you have color treated hair um, before I was very anti-conditioner because I know conditioner causes buildup over time. However, when you have colored hair, colored locks, it is very important that you condition your hair. When I colored my locks, it's been what, three weeks now? Um, one of the things that I noticed was how crunchy and hard my hair felt afterwards. And this was even after using the two conditioner packets that came in the boxes of the hair dye that was used on my hair. So that bothered me. And I think I mentioned that in one of my older videos about how my hair felt, that it felt rough and crunchy. And so it bothered me. And so it was like, you know, time for a wash. And I decided, you know, yesterday that I would wash my hair. Because one of the things that, I, that kept nagging at me was, did I not wash my hair enough after my hair was dyed? Did I not rinse enough? And I'm, I know for a fact I did because one of my biggest fears was having residue or, you know, like not rinsing my hair enough. So I rinsed and rinsed and rinsed. I shampooed several times. And I did this until I didn't see any color in the water until, you know, the water running out of my hair was clear. So it still bugged me that afterwards my hair still still felt crunchy, dry, whatever. Mind you, this is virgin hair that's been colored. You know, I hadn't colored my hair in well over 20 plus years. So when I did my wash yesterday, I shampooed twice. I shampooed thoroughly. And this time I, I washed my hair in the shower. And um, I made sure the water pressure was on low. Like it wasn't full, it wasn't the full blown shower pressure. I turned it down, you know, low, as low as I could get it. And then I just spent a really good amount of time um, shampooing my hair rinsing it and then just repeating the process and I noticed in the first wash I saw just a little color in the water like a little brownish and then after the second wash um it was clear and then I um got out the shower and I took some conditioner that I already had um I think it's the Aussie we always buy the Aussie brand because that's what me and the girls liked. Well, me, when I was a loose natural, I don't use it anymore, you know. But um, that was the conditioner I had on hand. I know before I was saying how I was just going to use aloe and I was, you know, DIYing and making my own like little leave-in conditioner with aloe. But I think with color treated locks, your hair needs more. So what I did was I took the Aussie conditioner and I, um, I put it in my hand and then I ran my hand under water and I just rubbed it together and, and made sure that I um, watered it down so that it thinned out. Then I applied it to my hair, my scalp, and I concentrated on the ends and I did that until it was, you know, pretty much all over my hair. But I made sure that, you know, my hair wasn't coated in white. My hair didn't look white because I watered it down. So it was like a clear, thinned out consistency of conditioner. And I put it all over my hair. I worked it in. I massaged it in real good. I went down the shaft concentrated on the ends and I let it sit. I think I let it sit on my hair for maybe 10 minutes tops. Excuse me. Then I um, spent another good amount of time in the shower rinsing it out to make sure that I rinsed out, rinsed it out completely or as much as I could. And then after that, I towel dried my hair 
Um, I didn't really towel dry it. I just, you know, put the towel around and soaked out as much water as I could. And then I let the rest air dry. But before it was completely dry, I took my oil and I oiled my scalp. And then I also put a little oil on the ends. And then what oil was left on my hands, I just rubbed it down the length of my hair. And then I gave myself a really good scalp massage. Let me tell you, what I did made a huge difference. The conditioner made a huge difference. Um, my hair feels softer. Um, it doesn't feel heavy because before, after the dye, my hair, um, my hair felt heavy and um, just weighed down. And I didn't like that either. I didn't like that feeling. And so now, you know, since I did the shampoo and I did the conditioner and I oiled my scalp and all that good stuff, my hair feels much better. It feels lighter. It doesn't feel as rough and heavy. And so I said all that to say conditioner is very important when you color your hair when you color your locks, you have to condition it. But my recommendation would be to use whatever conditioner you have on hand, but water it down. Do not put thick conditioner on your locks as is, because I think you're just asking for buildup. I know you're gonna get buildup no matter what. You're gonna get buildup no matter what you put on your hair. But um, with conditioner, I highly recommend watering it down really well before putting it on your hair. I also recommend um, I wouldn't condition your hair at every wash. I'm going to use conditioner every other wash. So my next wash, I'm not going to condition. The wash after that, I will condition. Also, um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and just reading, reading up on advice from other people who, you know, have colored their locks. And everybody highly recommends conditioning your hair. Now, one person recommended um, this conditioner called, I think it's Kara Care, Kara with the K, K E R A. I think that's what it's called, Kara Care, or it's called Kara. Either way, it's specifically for color treated hair. So I went on ahead and ordered some from Amazon. I'm gonna give that a try. In the meantime, I just used what I had in the house, and that was the Aussie, and I watered it down. Um, depending on how thick the consistency is of this Kara Care conditioner, I may have to water that down too. Who knows? I don't know. I'll find out when I get it. But um, I would highly recommend that you do condition your hair. It is very important because if you don't, you will have dried out locks. You will have those crunchy um, locks, very dry, and all of that leads to breakage. And you don't want your locks popping off, breaking, thinning out, and um, nobody wants that. That's a whole other issue. So that's all I wanted to say to you guys. So that's my little recommendation from my own experience. And I am going to condition my hair every other wash and, um, and water down my conditioner especially if you just have regular thick conditioner definitely you want to thin it out water it down and then apply it to your locks so that's it that's my early morning um suggestion for everybody i hope this helps it definitely helped me because um it just bothered me and so i felt it was important to just like do some research and see and listen to what other people do to care for their colored locks. And everybody said condition. And you do have to condition your hair. Um, no matter what anybody tells you. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Talk to you later. Take care.